Taylor, why is your fish tank turned off? Because it's too loud to film with it on. Taylor, why does your tank look like an actual disaster? Because I tore it down. Taylor, where are your fish? Where is cheese? He's in the other room, safe and sound. Do not worry about him. He's perfectly fine. That answered all your questions. Probably gonna click away from the video now. But if you want to watch... <laughs> There's a fly in the room. If you want to watch, uh, what happened, stay tuned. Fish get sick. It's a thing that happens. And cowfish especially. If you literally Google the word cowfish, pictures that come up of them in the wild, in aquariums, full grown, little bitty. There's pictures of them that have these little white specks on their fins, sometimes on their body. Those little white dots you see on fish sometimes, that's called ick. Ick is a parasite. It gets on the fish's skin and it lives off of these fish. And it eventually, if you don't cure it, will kill the fish. Most of the time you will see ick on a fish when their immune system is lowered because when a fish is stressed their immune system is lowered, their slime coat is compromised, and then the ick just latches on. Now you see cowfish get ick so often sometimes that a lot of people will recommend just not treating them at all. That most of the time they will just fight it off on their own. Now you see when I first got cheese I did not do that. When I first got cheese I treated him right away. I put him in quarantine for six weeks and I treated him with coopermine. Coopermine is basically like chemo for fish. Best way I can explain it to someone who doesn't know much about fish. Coopermine is made out of copper, which is actually dangerous for fish. It can hurt them and lower their immune system and in higher doses completely kill them. But at just the right dose, it'll kill all of the parasites, but not the fish. So yes, when Cheese first came into my home, he was this big. He was little bitty. If you don't know who Cheese is, uh, you must be new to the channel. Hello. Cheese is my fish. He looks like a uh, cube of cheese, and so we call him Cheese. Basically, the religion of this channel. We all worship Cheese. So, welcome. Cheese, yeah, he got he had ick when I bought him. Treated him. Cured him. And then moved him into the bio cube. He stayed in that bio cube for a long, long, long time. And then this year, I got a 250, nope, that's not how big the tank is. A 150 gallon tank that I moved cheese into. When a cowfish is an adult, they need about a 250 gallon tank. We have a long way to go until cheese is that size, but I felt it was good at his age to go ahead and get him into a bigger tank so he can have much room to grow. We put him in this. This giant tank I bought for one fish, really. I mean, of course, I have a beautiful selection of fish now in there and corals, and it's a really pretty tank, but I really only bought it because of cheese. When I moved cheese into this tank, he got a little spooked because he's been in the 30 gallon for so long. He got a little spooked, which led to him getting a little stressed, and then he had bloop, one dot of ick on his fin. One dot. Initially, I was just going to take him out and treat him right away. I was freaking out. I was like, oh my god, my lord and savior my god is sick. I didn't want to do anything immediately because the worst thing you can do with fish, if there's one thing I've ever learned from fish, the worst thing you can do is act impulsively and try to act so quickly that you don't evaluate the whole situation. Treating them too quick, acting too quick, and doing things woo -woo all spastically can end up doing way more harm than good. So if you see your fish is sick, Take a step back before scooping them out and throwing medicine all over them, okay? So I left Cheese alone and I reached out to some people online. Said he had one little bot. And they were like, you know, just let him get rid of it on his own. If none of the other fish are bothered and he is still eating and not itching and scratching, he's fine. And just let them work it out. A lot of the time, treating cowfish is more dangerous than just letting them ride it out. They're extremely sensitive fish who don't even have scales on their body. Freshwater dips are too dangerous because they don't have scales, and coopermane can really end up killing them. So everyone just said, don't do anything. So I left it alone for months, and that little dot was still there for months. And I kept thinking, I'm crazy, that must not be ick. Why am I seeing that one dot and why is it haunting me? A few months pass, and then he has a whole lot of dots on his fins suddenly. So then I'm like, like, oh crap, here it comes. So I go back online, I ask people, what should I do? Everyone's like, leave it alone, let him work it out. I'm like, okay, don't wanna bother cheese, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Then I come back from my last trip, and I see that not only him, but also my other fish now have ick. So cheese has now contaminated the whole tank. And at this point, there is no just letting him work it out. He has infested this whole tank, he has it all over, he has it on his eyeball, I'm like, okay, Something has to be done here. All the fish were still eating and none of them were scratching. Normally they scratch because it can, you know, like kind of itch, like chicken pox. None of them were acting like it was even there. But I could see it. I could see it really bad. 
and I couldn't let it go on any longer. So I prayed to the cheese gods. I was like, please don't let my Lord and Savior die on me. He's too young. I did what I thought was best. I set up a 75 gallon quarantine tank, which is basically, think of it this way, it's a hospital tank. It's where fish can be medicated and treated and it won't contaminate their actual home. I scooped all the fish out, which was very hard. Here's that footage. Um, I tried my best to do it without tearing the tank apart, but after a while I just gave up and tore it down. Okay, so it is day three now. There is an awful glare right there, but oh well. I just got tired of trying to, you know, play cat and mouse, trying to catch all the fish in that tank without tearing it apart. I really, really wanted that to be what happened. I really wanted to catch all the fish without taking the whole tank apart, but that's not the case. That's not what happened. I had to tear it all down to get the last three. There's actually still one more in there. There is a flame wrasse, a female flame wrasse, in my 150 that I just can't possibly get out. I've tried everything other than taking every last piece of rock out, so I am gonna go ahead and start treatment though. The flame wrasse doesn't have any ick on it at all. That's not my main concern. My main concern concern right now is getting these fish better and then of course the next concern is getting the tank, the 150 gallon tank, clear and clean and safe for them to go back in. to you real quick why you want to do that. Any medication for ick that is actually worth anything is actually extremely dangerous to live rock and corals and even invertebrates. So the copper will be absorbed into this live rock, all the beneficial bacteria and organisms living in that live rock will die, and the copper will stay inside that live rock pretty much forever. And so for the rest of time it'll just keep leaching it out into the water, which once you're not sick anymore you don't want to keep taking the medicine, you know? So that's not good. Secondly, it completely kills corals and inverts. They're just dead. The second copper goes in there, they're just dead. So, so fish have to go into a separate tank to get treated for this because if they don't, it ruins your whole tank. Also, ick takes about four to six weeks to get out of your tank. There's a life cycle of ick. It is born and then it wants to latch onto a fish, breed, and then it falls off, goes into the ground, and then it needs a fish source again in order to breed again or else it just dies. That takes about four to six weeks. So you need to keep your fish out of your ick infested tank for four to six weeks while the ick dies off. So it has actually already been about a month since I have moved them out of this tank. I'm gonna give it another few weeks before they get put back in. Also, we're moving this tank into another room, but that's a whole nother story. That's just gonna be hard. I put them in a quarantine tank. I sat on it for a while trying to decide which treatment I wanted to do, if I wanted to do something kind of on the lower side or be aggressive with it with Coopermine. My coal tank was on the bridge of death. It was covered in ick and just it wouldn't eat or anything by the time it got into quarantine. That was the one fish that was affected severely while all the other fish just didn't give a crap for some reason. I was like, I have to be aggressive with this. Go big or go home. Cheese, I love you, but I know you can make it through this. I have faith in you. 
pour that cooper mean in the tank and now all my fish are cured okay the glare is kind of bad and i just cleaned the glass so now it's like all everywhere in the tank so it has to settle so it looks a little crazy in there right now everyone is ick free so yay no more ick including cheese cheese does not have ick anymore they are all better I didn't lose a single fish. I did water changes every few days. I doubled the dose in 48 hours and all my fish are cured. Cheese doesn't have ick. None of my fish have ick. All my fish are alive. All my fish are alive. Keep me on the edge. Do y'all know that song? Okay. Yes, they're all cured. I am so happy that I didn't lose a single fish during this. They're all cured. And I'm also getting rid of my angelfish because I saw my angelfish, uh, not my gold flake, my other one. I got a blue angelfish. It's not a queen angelfish. Looks very similar. It's actually just a blue angelfish. It attacked cheese. It bit cheese and cheese went rolling and I was like, I'm done. Blue angel, you're out of here. But all my other fish are great. Everything's going good. So that's how I cured my 150 gallon tank from Mick. Also, next month is the anniversary of Cheese and Me. I honestly, I have to thank the eel that ate my jawfish because if my eel wouldn't have eaten my jawfish, I wouldn't have returned my eel. And if I wouldn't have returned my eel, I wouldn't have traded it for cheese. So everything happens for a reason. If your eel ever eats your fish, it's a, it's, it, everything happens for a reason. I miss my jawfish, but cheese saved my life. So, you know. Everything happens for a reason. Still missing this nail. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, yeah, merch, check it out. I have cheese merch if you wanna support the troops. Um, hope that is not offensive to people. Um, he went to Ick War and he survived. So thank you guys and I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time except I don't see you, so you will see me. Goodbye. You wanna see how loud this is? Watch this. Oh my god, I love this crab so much. So do y'all guys remember in my video about cheese where I said cheese bit off a coral? Well, that coral he bit off, my little crab put it on his back. I love this little crab right here. He's so cute. You can't really tell because it just looks like a piece of coral. But he's there, I promise.